Up here, 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 up here, up here, up here, here pigs, here pigs, here pigs, here pigs, it's up here, 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 here pigs, here pigs. Who hasn't eaten any chickens in a week? You're a good boy. Olaf! Olaf hasn't eaten any chickens. <laughs> <laughs> but you eat chickens. <laughs> Why can't I eat chickens? <laughs>
They're so pretty. Some light colored eggs. How many are under her? How do you check? Beautiful. <laughs> Just how many is that now? Oh my oh goodness. My how many are you sitting on? <laughs> hey birds. Uh, some of those, like that little one that's Oreo colored looks like a girl head to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good. Hey everybody. Hi. We've been busy. My parents came to visit. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a dump trailer which is letting us do a lot of good work like move these stones we're sitting on, move firewood. And we've got these stones placed where we're going to build a retaining wall in front of the yurt. And that's going to be phase one of the deck project. So we'll build the retaining wall, mm -hmm. bring in soil and backfill. And then once we have that nice and compacted and at the level we want it, then we'll have a surface that will build the, the deck foundation over. So we need to do it in the right order. So we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. uh, the rocks and stuff came from down there by the creek where I've done some work. It's kind of a rough area where you would have the goats and I'm using the excavator and the tractor to try to smooth it out some. It's pretty rough because of how many rocks are there. So I think it'll be a big effort to ever turn it into just nice lawn looking area. Mm -hmm. But maybe when we do the pond project, we'll be generating some extra soil that we could dump over there to give us a layer of soil over the rock. We'll oh, see. That'd be nice. How's the baby doing? Baby is doing great. She loves to hum and talk and use her voice a lot. That's been really fun. She's a good 18 pounds. Gonna turn five months soon. She's doing really good. The other kids are doing well. T-ball and soccer for them and they've had some fun games. Yeah. <laughs> we get to go ch cheer them on. It's both their first times doing a sport like this. Yeah. And always. first time for us too. Yeah. We're running to town sometimes two or three times a day it feels mm -hmm. like because there's school, t-ball, soccer practice, all this yeah. stuff going on. But it's on. a good commitment. It gets them active and yeah. just yep. and being able to try it out is so cool. Yep. So we're we happy want the to kids to be involved and hanging out with other kids and not, not just stuck here on the farm <laughs> all the time. I, we got a new fun toy this past week. We got a lawn mower. Yep, we got a riding mower Woo! which we're excited about because you know, the area around the yurt isn't really landscaped yet, but it's on the list. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. Building this deck will be part of it. And doing the pond will be a huge kind of effort nearby. And then I think we'll get to landscaping the whole area around the pond and the yurt and turn it really nice. Yeah. And so we've got to be careful with the mower for now not to hit rocks and stuff like that. Yeah, we're going low and slow, getting all the rocks but, yeah, and sticks it's, we it's can. It's forcing Great. us to get rocks out of the way. Which so. is perfect. It'll get easier each time and hopefully it'll get prettier and prettier around yeah. here. Yeah. Happy as too. far as the animals, I'm really happy with the changes to the pig handling we made. It really simplifies mm -hmm. things. Putting those red rebar post into the ground and running a single wire is a lot easier than handling that goat netting and so mm -hmm. we can get the pigs kind of up against the hills because what what happens is there's grass and then there's the edge of the woods with tons of blackberry at that edge and then there's forest where at some point when there's enough tree cover the blackberries stop so the pigs we're gonna put them on a little bit of grass all that blackberry and then into the forest some they can eat some blackberry, eat some grass, and during the hottest part of the day, they've got all the tree cover they could need for shelter. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot easier to work on that rocky hillside with those single rebar posts, and I can just hammer them into the ground versus that step-in netting. So that's been going really well. And I trained the pigs to that waterer, and it seems like that's going well. And... The goats are doing good. I'm, I'm really thinking that Hermione, our dark brown with white and black colored goat, is due to have a baby soon. I, I mean, we're still new, so I couldn't say 100% for sure, but I feel like at this point I'm 90% sure. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I really hope that goes well. She's my favorite goat for her kind of physical appearance mm -hmm. and her behavior. She's, yeah. she's not one of the most annoying goats. The two sisters <laughs> are the most annoying goats. Hermione just gets out there, eats blackberries, eats poison oak, and it, we're just really happy with her mm -hmm. temperament. And um, I guess, th and the chickens are doing well, and we're about a week out from that new hatch. And I'm we so let excited. we let Sarah the hen go broody on a clutch of <laughs> eggs the exact day we started the incubator. But Sarah started with five five eggs, and somehow there's like 13 <laughs> eggs under her now. So so other hens are sneaking eggs in there or something. And she does not want what's them going to on. be touched. So it's just a fun experiment. Maybe none of those eggs will hatch, but maybe some of them will. And that'd be so cool to see a hen hatch her own mm -hmm. chick or chicks. That and that's what's been happening. And the really exciting thing that's about to happen is I'm going to go buy a used sawmill. I, I called to buy a new sawmill and I found out that I could get it in the summer of 2022. <laughs> Sawmills are in high demand right now because lumber prices have gone crazy, doubled, tripled, in some cases gone up like five Yay. times in price from a year or two ago. And we have plenty of trees and we need something to do with them so we're so excited to get a sawmill and then we'll basically have everything we need to generate a lot of the supplies for things like this deck project, you know. I can mill up all the lumber, we've got the dump trailer and the equipment to do all this dirt work, and then when it comes time to actually go buy stuff for that project, it would be hardware is the big thing I can think of, and roofing material. But as far as uh, our own wood, we'll be able to do pretty much all of it, short of if we needed something treated, but on the deck project I don't think we're doing that. So that'll be really exciting. Yeah. And then I need to get good at using that mill and then moving forward we'll be making, you know, our own barn, maybe our own little guest house, all kinds of things like that with our own material. So really looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal today. All and right. beyond that, looking into June, I'm going to have to travel for work for a couple weeks in June. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be really busy and I don't, I'm probably not going to be making many videos for the rest of May and June, we'll see. But if, if multiple weeks go by without making a video, that's what's been going on, is we're just going to be having a really busy late May and all of June. So mm -hmm. maybe we'll make a really short update video or maybe we'll just wait quite a while. <laughs> we'll see. Well, but that's it. fun around here. Yeah. And at some point ah. she's going to start eating solids around five, six ah. months. And then she'll start crawling, <laughs> and just everything will go crazy. <laughs> huh, baby? Yay! All right, well, that's it for now. Bye. Thanks, bye. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> Breakfast in bed! Look at I need one for you, one for me! Yay. <laughs>